Uh, no, my name's Darren Diogi. Um, I run my own self-development event, and I have done for the last five or six years. Uh, I do them on a range of very unusual subjects because um, they're all about aspects of being a human that are so fundamental to our everyday getting about in the world that we don't pay attention to them and how much power is locked in them. I do events on sound and language, on gender, on perception, um, and on human evolution and social development in general. So they've been going quite well, but that was what got me into this whole free man thing in the first place, was uh, a few years ago because of the language side. So I have a very, very unusual approach to language and uh, its effect on us, um, and how words work and all the rest of it, but I'll talk about that in, in a moment. Um, but that was what got me interested in all the free man stuff, because essentially it's all about language. It's all about the words that are used, because words are very interesting because uh, they can either guide us, enlighten us, uplift us, show us new concepts, but they can also be used to control and mislead and contain us. Um, and obviously the law is one of the areas where that's most powerfully realised. Um, so that tickled my interest, so it became a bit of a sideline thing for me, but then I got involved in my own breakthroughs in the area, and so I ended up starting to add that to my repertoire of talks that I did. So um, when I was looking at the whole free man approach, I realised that it was, uh, hadn't been thought through. The problem is that it's um, been kind of, it's all about spouting a position. People are saying, you know, they've had this realisation of empowerment, they've realised they've been a bit oppressed or misled, and all of a sudden they're a bit upset about it, you know, and they want to spout their position. Wait a minute, I'm a free sovereign being, you know, you can't tell me what to do, which is absolutely true, but all that is, is spouting a position. What, what I've seen happen in too many court cases in the past is that um, they're not listening. You know, they're not paying attention to what people are saying. So um, as I observed this, uh, what was missing was what I call effective interface. Because we're standing there spouting a position, but so is the state. So the state's saying there, well, you know, this is our position. The, you know, and you kind of know that really. And there's not a healthy dialogue taking place there. So a lot of the success, so-called successes that I saw in the free man movement here in the UK weren't actually successes, they were delaying. It bought more time, but people still hadn't found, you know, proper, effective, reusable remedies. And the work me and some of my colleagues had been involved in, we found that the one thing that seemed to work better than anything was our individuality, you know, was bringing that into the space. But it still wasn't helping us in terms of being empowered and being listened to. And... It was when I started, you know, because of the whole language side of it, I was looking at the words, and I was hearing all these people talk about, 